Done some house. Lovely dude. Alright, so I have lethal push sure. My objective with lethal is just to find the closest possible survivor. Uh, those dudes. Catch them as soon as possible. And just camp. Ah, uh, I think it was smart. He didn't go for the window. Alright, well, that's gonna take a little bit longer at least. Because we're all out of charges. But it's okay. Good enough. Okay. We're right next to a gate too, which is actually incredibly good. Because if we're next to a gate and they cannot touch it, they cannot activate this perk. I got that. That was pretty. That was pretty slick. Um, because we know the other two guys are far, we could probably still down. Uh, try to down her. Okay. Oh, that's actually so good. Can I get this pallet out of the way? It'd be kind of nice, just for just to make the noise even stronger. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh, hi, uh, Vividokas. That's probably because of the dedicated servers. If you get pallets done and the server detects it late, you don't get the hit. It's a new feature. That's all. Alright. I know I said it would face cap from the very beginning, but... <laughs> Guess we start now. Oh, and this is three, three tokens on this perk? Oh my god, I didn't even realize. Okay. I think now is the time. We're gonna do this pallet. There's an L2 wall there. We're gonna do the other pallet. There might be a pallet there somewhere, but, you know, screw it. I feel bad. I I feel awful, dude. I kind of want to leave. Uh, I'm just gonna leave. I, I'm sorry. I know I'm... I, I, I don't have the stomach. Guess I'll try to hook this guy. If they get if they go there fast, they get him. That's the whole experiment. Whatever, dude. I failed the experiment. Then I'm sorry. Uh, I can't do it. Like this David is too pure. Uh, I just I just feel bad. Oh, I can body block one of the sides. So I can just sit right here. Nice, that's really good. My cat says hi. Really, Ricky? Uh, pat it on the back of its head for me and chat. Movement speed, by the way. Don't even need to worry about exit gates being open. We don't have needed Nord for this. I kind of disagree. I don't think I would have been able to insta down the fully heal Claudette that barely made it to a pallet. You know, if I had to use my chainsaw. Yeah, and if I didn't have the extra, what is it? Uh, five percent speed, I think. No, four percent speed. Right? 
kind of disgusting. Hundred and nineteen. We don't know how Noid speed works, but it might be more. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's actually four percent of one hundred and fifteen. So whatever the speed is, it barely let me cut her at M one. So I would have never gotten that chance. So now if I didn't get that chance, so maybe the other guy gets picked up. You know, and if the Felix wasn't dead on hook, uh, maybe the Felix gets picked up. Uh, yeah, I think this is kind of. And these guys were well equipped because they had a couple proof themselves. So when I was camping. And I played it nice on turn one because I love the David. They, they, they should have been able to do the gems fast, right? Or faster. <sighs> I don't know. I don't mean to be rude, but this feels more like a camping experiment than a no-ed experiment. The effects of camping, losing people early, will impact the no-ed results emo. Yeah, but here here's the problem. Why do you think no-ed is useful it's useful because people camp with it and it's it's unfair because people camp with it you know what i mean you catch a guy you camp them the whole match and then you still have no it you know what i mean that's the that's the idea so i, I know that no it overlapping uh, with this thing is like a big deal. We could trap this, by the way. But my point is to just play this as lazily as I can, so I don't know if I should. I think that's a hit with... Oh! <coughs> almost, almost. If I play that perfectly, perhaps. We're gonna lose Bloodlust. So now they can do that again. But not everyone plays like that. Well, dude, that's like saying, well, I bring brand new parts, but I do totems and I don't gen rush and I play super nice and I always give a kill to the killer. So brand new parts are okay because I don't use them in a way that's okay. That's cool, but maybe, maybe if you don't use them, that doesn't mean that someone else won't, you know? Hi, Duskers, hey, thank you for the 10 bucks. I run a build similar to the Legion build you were running yesterday with eruption, ah. pop, oppression, <gasps> and overcharge. I use it on Nemesis currently, but okay. which killers would you recommend running this build on? Oh, uh, Eruption Pop, Oppression, Overcharge. <laughs> I think Overcharge is really not great on anyone. Um, maybe on Doctor, Eruption, Overcharge could be actually strong. Otherwise, if you were willing to change the Overcharge for something to let you know where the gems are, I reckon Freddy would use that well too. Alright then. Uh, but I had a trap somewhere here. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, I'll just put it right here. Just... Very engaging gameplay. Hi. That's somebody else. Okay. Did he disarm that trap, dude? You never know. Uh, hi. Sorry. Uh, cool. I'm gonna hook them both and then just pick one and just sit in front of them. Okay, I guess this one. Wait. They did that just to get some points, right? That heart. Wait, what? Are you guys okay? I wonder. Okay. Um, how can you... How can you try actively to play the scummiest way I can and the laziest way I can and, and somehow have this result? I don't get it. Um. Uh, thank you. Thank you, that person from New Jersey. 
couldn't catch your name. Alright, uh, we're trying the same idea with Freddy this time. Uh, same build as before, except we replace Lethal Pursuer with um, Remember Me, just to slow them down even further. Uh, whatever palette I break? Oh, this is a horrible, horrible map for... Yeah, whatever palette I break, I'll, I'll replace with a illusory one. I shouldn't put two next to each other, it makes it so obvious that one of them is fake at least. Okay. Perfect. I don't hear her. Okay, I think. Waste of time, actually. I feel like she should have gone for the ballot. All right. All right, so. I feel like she could have waited a bit longer and she would have been fine. <laughs> what are the results so far? Sometimes I win before Noid kicks in. And there's been a few times where Noid hasn't done a whole lot. But I, I still feel like it allows you to get things that you just don't quite deserve. And I know the word deserve is very loaded and very subjective. Maybe the better word is earn. It allows you to do things that you really haven't earned. So, uh, yeah, that's that's my thoughts about it. Ooh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Two draw. Two went out. Okay. And I think that's enough. Maybe with dead heart he's fine. Ah! No dead heart. Alrighty. Uh, I actually am very, very uh, into the idea of camping this hook because it's next to this gate, and I could pressure the gate and make no way out stay longer. They will need to find the other gate and touch it before the timer begins. Not there. We should maybe go and kick that one in the middle when we have a minute. Ooh. He doesn't see this pallet because he's awake, I'm fairly sure. I didn't even see that. This is perfect if the exchange here. Right. Trimbers on him, we'll remember that. And we can go for the fourth hook. I think she's nearby. Oh, wait a minute. Where's the, where's the, where's the Jane? Very important that we get her. If we get the second hook on that guy, that would be pretty good as well. Because she would become the obsession. And then I could kill him off and remember we would be even stronger later on. That would be really, really good. Okay, that's the idea right now. Get decisive strike uh, struck by that dude. Okay. 
Oh, please play around this pallet. Please, please, please. What's the heart again? Well, and if they don't have a breakable, I could go and chase Ace off right now. Second hook heart. And after this, one hook on everyone. Nice! He's got flip flop. Awesome. Now we get to down her maybe. And get more stacks. Oh, I didn't hear that at all. We use Viron Whale. Oh. Yeah, she wiggled before. Yeah, but it was a while. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. Maybe it wasn't flip flop. Maybe it's because I dropped her. She did hard the last second. I forgot. I did forget. I did forget. Okay. Port stack. Let's go. And fourth stack of no way out. That that hard though. Yeah, that was pretty good. Cause I'm like, okay, I'm gonna wait until the BT is out. That was pretty good. Um, I think this is, I think this is it, guys. Like the both gates in this map being this close is actually a bit of a miracle. Yeah, let's just camp it out now. Just sit here. Why not? Hi, Jenna Marie. What a beautiful name. Thank you so much for your prime. You can only give that to one person. So. I am very humbled. Thank you. No, I can only camp one person, so. I see these two guys. Yeah, yeah, heal up, heal up. <laughs> oh. I mean, I can do this, maybe, to follow them a bit. <laughs> Camping is more efficient than tunneling? No, tunneling is more time efficient. But it's hard to tunnel sometimes. They have DS, they have BT. Camping is very easy. With certain killers? That's very smart of her. I think this color is actually really good. She understands that she cannot trade. Because if she trades, she will literally die and I might still catch them. He has Iron Will, so I know she's nearby. Just not exactly sure where. They need to heal if they want to catch, if they want to save her. Okay, that's Ace, I imagine. And those two guys were healing each other, which makes me think they don't have medkits or whatever to heal themselves. I almost want to let them out, dude. Nice, nice, call that my goal. But if she goes for the rescue, she dies. Okay, so she healed. And there's Ace. And where's Leon? On that gate, he doesn't have time to open it. Now, Ace will probably hide here. Maybe? Where am I chasing him? Hello? Oh. Okay. Uh, Leon woke up. That's that's a lot of info. Um, if I come here, I might see scratch marks. Okay, picked up. Yo. Unbreakable on that other lad, maybe. It's the one thing that can save them. And by saving them, I mean they get one escape. Otherwise, I think they're all dead. So you, you see you see my problem with Noit, right? Like, imagine if I hit the ace and I had to go on a full chase with him to down him. Okay, maybe I'm a Myers. Maybe I have tier three. But by now, difficult. Okay, maybe I'm a cannibal. Well, if he has a window or a pallet, not so easy. And it still takes longer than a quick attack with your basic attack, right? 
And now imagine that that other girl that healed right in the nick of time uh, didn't go down in one hit. I would have not been able to leave her there. Now, if they had a few unbreakables, yeah, sure, they could have helped this. But still, still, like, I just camped the person out, like, I think from full health to death, I think. And I get away with it so easily. That's my point. Now, this doesn't happen every time. As I said, there are some ways you can fight it. There are some ways you can, you can, uh, you can prevent it. But realistically, how do you, how do you avoid this? Do you do gens really fast if the killer's camping and do all the totems? Or do some totems, but then make sure that the last totem is not right next to a hook, like in here? I think it's hard. I think Noah should change the same way No Way Out uh, is. Make it a totem-based perk, where if you do well and you hook a bunch of people, then you earn it. And you cannot just do this number. Like, like I, I had a bunch of hooks before Jane, but it wouldn't have mattered. They all literally died. They could have died on their first hook. Even if I did nothing. I don't know. Go get the ace. Let him have it, dude. Sorry. Right. 